Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, and welcome to the challenge, my new Town Hall 10 attack strategy series. And today we've got something a bit special for you guys. Super Wizards and the Battle Blimp at Town Hall 10. Yes, guys. Yes. So first of all, we're going to look at the army composition. Then we've got some wonderful replays where I'll show you how to use this strategy. So let's meet the troops. Your army is going to consist of 12 dragons. That's nice and easy, guys. Your spells, one rage, five freeze, one clone spell, and one poison spell. And your clan castle troops will just be three super wizards. Don't have anybody else. You can have another five uh, housing space worth of clan castle troops, but don't fill it up. Because we want to clone those super wizards. And if you have some barbarians or archers, you might clone them instead. So you don't need a clan castle spell, be an invisibility spell. And we're going to be using the battle blimp, of course, guys. So who says you can't have battle blimp super wizards at Town Hall 10? You can. You just need to do it a little bit differently. We don't have those invisibility spells, so we're going to be using the free spells instead. And of course, we've got one invisibility spell, though, so we can use that. So let's jump into our first replay now. Let's go. So through the clouds we go, and guys, the first stage of the attack is deployment of your heroes normally. We're going to use those to help funnel and take out high-value targets. I've put my king and queen together on this base. Sometimes you put your queen on one side, the king on the other. And then it's deployment of the rest of the troops. And then the battle blimp. I like to put in the battle blimp sort of after I've decided what I'm going to do. So, you know, nice and relaxed because the battle blimp, it can be difficult to use. So it does require practice. So we really need the queen to take out that expo, but she's become distracted with the clan castle troops. And guys, I forgot to boost my spells. I only had a level two poison spell there. That's not good. A few dragons on the left there to help with funneling. The rest of the dragons will go in as well in a moment. It's like baking a cake, isn't it? Uh, and then we're sending the battle blimp there now in preparation for where the battle blimp reaches its target i like to put down a rage spell then the clone spell then lastly the invisibility spell sometimes you have to uh deploy your battle blimp before it reaches the town hall you just do that of course by tapping on the battle blimp and then look after those wizards remember after your first invisibility spell you don't have any more so use those free spells to help freeze any targets that are going to take out your wizards your super wizards we've got one super wizard left i think there he is Hi, William. How are you doing? Can you take out the town hall, please? Of course he can. Look at that, guys. Magnificent. Now, the only thing I guess is if you're going to sort of uh, super wizard battle blimp the, the center of the base, the dragons don't like to be funneled. So they're going to go around the edge of the base like this, which can be a little bit annoying. But I thought with this attack strategy, who's going to work best with it? And I thought dragons, because we don't need to worry about walls, you know, breaking through walls, wall breakers, jump spells. We can just send the dragons in. And against sort of a, you know, we're Town Hall 10, against a nearly max Town Hall 11 base like this, we're going to get nearly 90%. We're going to take on a Town Hall 12 base next, and then another Town Hall 11. So it's a great strategy, this, for sort of Clan War, League and War, getting two stars Sometimes even three against Town Hall 11s against sort of bases above you, which obviously helps you in the in the war and clan war, doesn't it, guys? So uh, there's the first replay. On to our next replay. We're against the Town Hall 12 here, and we're going to do a bit of preparation work again. King and Queen on the left-hand side there. And just about taking your time. You know, don't worry, guys. You very rarely run out of time in an attack. I said that on my last video, and then we time failed at 99% two-star. But... Uh, you don't really. So a few dragons over there to help with the funnel. Rest of the dragons there. So sometimes on some bases, it might be worth putting your dragons in before the battle blimp because they're distracted the defences, which means there's no... It, it decreases the danger of your battle blimp not making it. So rage spell down, clone spell down, then the invisibility spell. We need to take out that town hall with those super wizards. They're doing a great job in there, and I think they're going to do it. And they've taken out that air sweeper. And there we go. Super wizards. Can they take out that expo over there? No, oh, the king's there. I don't think... I mean, perhaps if we would have used the free spell on the king, we could have got a bit more success there. But it, like I said, it's just about practice. We don't have those invisibility spells, so we have to make do with free spells. I've just put a free spell pretty much on an empty space there. But guys, we're going to get two stars here at least. And again, that's Town Hall 10 against Town Hall 12. So that's really useful, guys. Really useful. And I do like the Super Wizard Blimp Attack. Obviously, at uh, higher Town Hall levels, Town Hall 12 and Town Hall 13, especially Town Hall 13, it's absolutely devastating when you've got those invisibility spells. Those Super Wizards can just take out half the base. So there we go. There's the second replay. We've got one more, I think. Uh, there we go. Through the clouds we appear. And this sort of just shows how much potential the Super Wizards in the Battle Blimp have got. So again, King and Queen one side, 
some dragons on the left there. It's funnel time, guys. Then we're going to put the rest of the dragons in the center. Like I said, sometimes put the dragons down to distract the defenses so the battle blimp has an easier time reaching the target. So where are we going to send it? We want to send it sort of around where that uh, eagle artillery is. Let's get ready. Where's the rage spell? There it is. There's the uh, clone spell and invisibility spell, last of all, and there we go. So look at all the targets getting taken out there. Quite magnificent. Those super wizards are doing a great job. Can they take... Yes, as I say, can they take out the eagle artillery? Of course they can. And those expos. Now, like I said before, the only danger is, of course, if this happens and you take out a sort of area near the centre of the base, the, the troops will go around it so the town hall won't get taken out um, unless you take it out. So just keep that in mind, perhaps... Uh, but we're going to get a nice, healthy two-star attack again. We're just going to freeze that Inferno Tower. And we've lost all our Super Wizards now, but we do have how many dragons left? One, two, three, four. Five. Oh, they keep moving. I can't count them. About 25 dragons left there. So we're just going to speed it up. We don't even need to use that Poison Spell level 2. We're going to use it on the Inferno Tower. A powerful Poison Spell there, guys. Remember to boost your spells. Obviously, I keep forgetting. Uh, not only do I keep forgetting and bring a level 2 poison spell to the battle, but I forget to use it. It's even worse, guys. It's even worse. Um, so there we go. 80 plus attack on a Town Hall 12. 11, even. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for plenty more amazing attack strategies. Town Hall 10, 11, 12 and 13. So Moose signing out. Pleasure as always. Catch you later.